My name is Akki Nilhan and I'm from the organization, uh, two uh, different organizations in Turkey. One of them is Initiative uh, to Keep Hassan Kate Alive and the other is Right to Go to Campaign. And uh, today here in Marseille I participated to this uh, session which is called Local Struggles Against Resource Grabbing and the Recognition of the Right to Water as Basic Human Right. What I talked about was starting from uh, what has happened in Turkey in the last 50 years because it started as a um, um, contest between three, four nations in the Mesopotamia, Syria, Iran and Iraq and Turkey. They were in a competition to make use of water resources, the Tigris and the Euphrates. So they were doing some uncoordinated projects at the same time, in the 60s particularly. And uh, the, the, the states were in a competition to make more dams over the Tigris River and the Euphrates River. So um, as a result of this, there were more rivers, uh, sorry, more uh, embassies, uh, the, um, the dams over the rivers, and uh, this resulted in some conflict between these states. Um, what is more interesting is by the 1990s, the global water crisis was pronounced more and um, there was a growing, in, uh, growing interest in this region, in the Middle East, particularly on the Tigris and Euphrates water because they thought, okay, the water is getting less so we can make more money out of it. So the global water corporations were interested in going to Turkey particularly, which is opening its waters to privatization anyway. So they thought, okay, we will go there and uh, we will get more water resources, build more dams and uh, make more profits out of this. And now we have uh, 2000, more than 2,000 dams either being planned or constructed now over the rivers of Turkey. And I come from one of those organizations that is particularly interested in one dam, which is called Elisu. This Elisu dam will uh, inundate the reservoir of this Elisu, will inundate um, an area, a huge area, which is very important in terms of its historical identity, cultural identity. Many Kurds live there, there are also Arabs, there are Turkish people as well, and there are other minorities whose names are not pronounced often. So, um, we are talking about 75,000 people who have to leave their lands, who have to leave their past, who have to leave their traditional lives and go to other places because it will be all underwater. And uh, our initiation, our organization is fighting against this dam. We don't want this dam to be built because we know that it is not going to produce so much electricity. It's not going to be so good for agriculture because there's already so much intensive agriculture which is creating salinity, aridity in the area. So we want this dam to be stopped and it has been constructed now. I am also an activist in uh, another campaign which is called Right to Water. And this campaign is, um, the, this organization has a base in Istanbul. And uh, I live there too, of course, and uh, that's why I'm always cooperating with them. These two organizations we are always together. And uh, what we say in the Right to Water campaign is that, I th we say that uh, water should be free of charge uh, to a certain level. I think for a human needs, 50 liters per day is enough to meet the human needs. Up to 50 liters a day, water should be free, and then it should be charged. If you use more than 50 liters per day, then uh, you should be charged with the normal tariff, with the normal water tariff. We say this because we know that if you make the water price higher and higher, it will be more injustice for the poor people. And uh, there are so many people in Turkey all year day who are suffering from not having any water because they couldn't pay their water bills and their water was cut. This is a basic human need. This is a basic living being need, not only for humans. So we say that um, if you make the price higher and higher, it will only punish the poor people and other living beings. What we say is we are trying to promote a way to uh, save water resources through collect pricing. But pricing doesn't mean that we have to rise it. 
It means that we have to make it free to a certain point, and if you exceed that limit, then you pay the normal charge. So this way, there can be water conservation. We have an example of this in Turkey. Uh, it's the province of Dikili, and the mayor of Dikili province is um, uh, he's called Osman Özgüven. This guy made water free up to 10, 10 tons per month for every house. So for every house, people uh, can, um, can can use 10, 000, uh, 10 uh, tons of water a month, and if they exceed that. They have to pay, but if they don't exceed, they don't pay anything. So this is a very good way, this is a very rewarding way of um, making people conserve water. Although it sounds ridiculous at first, because in the Western world it is almost impossible for people to think that something can be free. When it is free, people think that, oh, it's going to diminish. People will destroy it, people will um, use it mostly so that it will just disappear. But it's not always like that. Particularly about water, people have some consciousness. But we treat people like um, if, as if they are, you know, uh, thoughtless creatures and uh, we are trying to punish them. And like, okay, you have to pay more than but, but it's not like that. So this is the thing about the, um, the, these two companies, uh, sorry, the organizations are working on these issues that I'm part of. And um, what else can I say? We also started um, a petition to declare UNESCO, UNESCO site, this Hasan cave, which is a symbolic place for the Kurdish people, for the Turkish people, for the entire humanity, which will be inundated by the UNESCO dam, if it is completed, of course. And uh, we want this place to be um, an UNESCO World Heritage Site, so we have a petition. Uh, and if people want to have access to it, they can maybe Google it as we are, you know, now I'm talking to a camera. So I think like um, people can Google Hassan Cave, Tigris Valley, UNESCO petition, then they can um, see the online, the, the online petition site. All you have to do is just click and then you support it. I don't know if this will work, but uh, we are trying to find um, participated ways to involve more people because Hassan Cave or the Tigris Valley, which will be inundated by the Ulu Sudan if it is completed, is not a matter of only the people in that region or not a matter of people for, uh, who live in Turkey, but the entire humanity because this place is like, it has 10,000 years of history, complete history, which was not restored. People have been living there for thousands of years without, you know, interruption, which just goes on. So I think this is very important for the entire humanity that we keep this place. And uh, it is also what makes us, what bodies us, is, this is only being done for a bit of electricity, a bit of agricultural production for um, for global food production and uh, we are just sacrificing uh, some very important things for very little things. I think we should just question what we are doing. Uh, this is what we are trying to make people think. That's it. Mm. You're welcome.